All right. Morning. 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 We'll go ahead and hop in. Oh, goodness. Hey, Andrew, can you turn your uh, speaker off? Just mute the whole thing. I can't listen to myself. <laughs> no, the speaker. Oh. Oh, the volume. There we are. <laughs> Good morning. Everybody have a good Thanksgiving break and eat plenty of turkey and pumpkin pie and all of the, the good stuff. Um, we'll go ahead and jump in. Um, I'll, you know, I'm here with WFG National Title, so I'll let Seth say hello this morning. He's about Arlington, Arlington rep, and you all know uh, Jackie, um, and she's not here today. She's in Houston. But <laughs> but I appreciate you know WFG having me out again this week, um, and we have built out our Google business profile, um, optimized it with a few key pieces, and today we are going to dive into something that realtors typically are looking forward to the most, and that would be our reviews masterclass. And thank you, NRL Mortgage. Also, sorry yeah. for having yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. So we will dive in. Today we are going to be using our cell phone quite a bit. So you're going to want to have that out in handy because um, we're going to create a system uh, to make it easy for you to request reviews. And a lot of it's going, it's going to be built out through your cell phone. Uh, my name's Lacey. I work with a wonderful company called West. Um, we are a Williston Financial Group company, so the sister company to WFG National Title. Um, I work with a nationwide team of marketing and technology professionals who work with realtors and lenders every day in building out your business, helping you, uh, you know, reach those goals and exceed them. So, reviews. 83% um, of people polled believe that reviews are the most credible kind of advertising and are as valuable as a recommendation from a friend or family member. Um, I think that this is no surprise, right? Like we do that, each one of us, when we um, look at a business that we wanna do or that we're considering doing business with, um, when we're comparing different options, we see one that has um, you know, no, no star reviews and we see one that has a hundred star reviews, a five star reviews. We're gonna go with that guy, right? Or even if this one only has two and that one has more. We're, we tend to lean towards where we know we're going to have the same positive experience that others had. And so reviews are important. They're a key part of your marketing. Um, reviews, you know, just a couple of notes here. They validate your business, right? So they, they show your credibility, um, even with referrals. Um, now, when someone, you know, refers you as a realtor, in a consumer's mindset, now we do a little bit of research ourselves. It's just kind of natural, right? We all have our cell phones in hand or our computers at fingertips length. So we tend to, even if we're given someone's name, take that extra step and do a little bit of research ourselves. Um, and to see good quality reviews validates that referral that we received. Um, it does also help us to um, connect with our clients in our sphere. So just able to keep that conversation open, have them, you know, think about the transaction and, and give praise in a public format. Um, and really, of course, me, the one thing I really like about reviews too is SEO. So uh, it's user generated content. When someone does a step beyond and they leave you more than just those five stars and they write out a testimony, um, all of those words that are written in there are also read by the search engine. So we've gone through and we've built out our Google business profile. We've created content that has keywords and images that have locations. And we've, we're trying to build up that, that core SEO um, in that profile. Reviews are also a place that the user gets to add that to it. So the more reviews you have that are written, um, those reviews that say, man, this was the best realtor I've ever worked with realtor keyword, right? Um, and so finding my new home was a breeze, finding a new home keyword. So 
all of that, if they write out an answer on your review, is read by Google um, and other search engines. And so today we'll go over the reviews formula because we've cracked the code. Um, any ideas on why it's difficult to get reviews? Or, you know, when we, when we ask, oftentimes people don't busy. send one over, right? They're busy. Yeah, people just don't have the time, right? Anyone, anyone else? Don't know, don't know what to say? Yep. Lots of different places to put it. Like I'm asking. Too many options. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't know where to, where to go. All of those are absolutely on point with what we'll address today. Um, so busy, you know, oftentimes we think of, or just think of timing. When are we asking for the review from the client? Um, realtors tend to ask after closing, right? You just completed the transaction. It makes sense that now I would ask for them to rate that transaction. No, at this point, the client is, we think of them, they're busy. They are um, switching utilities and transferring schools for their kids and working with moving companies. Yeah, packing and stressed out, you know? And so um, really the timing there, they're just too busy. They, would, they loved you, they think you're great. You did a wonderful job. They would love to give you a review, but they just can't. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, what do we say? Like, I can't think of the words to say, I'm busy, you know, and I've got other things going on. Um, how do I put into a few short words what this transaction was? Um, and then just, yeah, how are we asking them? You know, are we giving it to them in a format that makes sense? And with options, like, are we giving them five options to choose from? And I say just in shopping, if we're given too many options, it makes for a miserable shopping experience, right? We don't know what to choose. They all could be wonderful options, but we get stuck. If I have a few small, great options or one directed curated experience, then I, 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 can, I can do that, like I can manage that. So um, all of those will play into uh, the system that we've set up. And so these are just a few key elements of kind of the formula that we have. Um, number one is people. So we're gonna break down um, different people categories to, uh, that we could be requesting reviews from, uh, the leading questions. So we want to prompt them in like, just answer a question. Can you go here and answer this question? Now, yeah, I can do that. I can, I can respond to, it'd be like conversation, right? Um, give me, lead them in a way to respond. And then delivery. Like I said, today we're going to be using our cell phones. Um, we're probably communicating with our clients via text, right, throughout the transaction. Um, if we think of, you know, most reviews are sent by email or review requests are sent by email, but how many emails does our client get in a day that are asking them to do something? Um, and so if it's a personal delivery, they're more likely to respond. And so we'll take a second here and I, just to break these down, but you can also be writing these out um, of people that come to mind that you could be requesting a review from. So we have four categories. Um, the first one's going to be, you know, a given, right? So during transaction. Notice this isn't after closing, this is during the transaction with the client. Um, we have some key milestones during a transaction that might be a good time to ask for a review. We want to think of when the client is happy, right? We don't want to request a review when inspection went wrong and things were getting a little rocky or appraisal was bad. Um, but some key milestones, it might be uh, going under contract, right? Um, they're happy and you say, you're about to be really busy. This has been great. We're on, we're on the home stretch. Would you mind just leaving me a review uh, before we get too busy? And then uh, inspection, after inspection, when everything is done and happy and clients are good. And then somewhere, it's just somewhere between signing and closing. So um, a lot of times I recommend, it could just be right before closing um, that we say, hey, this has been great. Can you leave me a review real quick before we get these uh, you know, I's dotted and T's crossed? Um, so during a transaction, of course we have past clients. So you may have been in the business for years and have had you know dozens or hundreds of clients that you've done business with, uh, friends, family, uh, 
you know, extended beyond that that are happy and you did a great job for that you've never either didn't ask for a review or, um, or maybe you did and the timing was bad and you didn't get a review. Um, to rekindle the conversation, check them back in, say, hey, it's been a year since you moved in, checking on you, how are things? And oh my goodness, you know, the time I, we were so busy and I didn't ask for a review, would you mind leaving one now that you're all settled in? And sending it to them in a format that works. Um, one that we oftentimes overlook would be our vendors, right? So you're working with the plumber that comes in to fix the broken pipe, you let them in the house, you're communicating with them, you're managing the situation for your client. Um, I think of the inspectors that come out and you're again, you're there, you're working together with them, you're communicating, you're exchanging documents and, and doing that on behalf of your client. Um, all of those are moral and fair and um, a good opportunity to ask for you from them. Like, they're probably a small business owner, right? Their business is, uh, they're trying to grow their business. You can just ask them, say, you were great to work with. I would, you know, I would love to leave your review and would really appreciate if you would leave me one as well. Let's, how would you feel about a review exchange? Great, another five stars, right? And so building up as many as we can. And then the last uh, people category here would be our organic reviews. So this would be the client who, sends you the nicest text message you've ever received saying how wonderful you are. The email that came through that praises you and it was, you know, sweet words, um, or they, you know, said it verbally, right? Um, that's great. So nice, right? It makes your heart flutter, but it doesn't get where, you know, it benefits your business, right? And so um, telling them that, man, that's, that means the world to me. That was so sweet and I appreciate it so much. Would you mind just copying and pasting that right here. Literally telling them what they said, giving it to them in a copy paste, you know, format. It's, yeah, absolutely. They love you, right? Um, and so these would be the four. If you have any that fit into this category, if you're in the middle of a transaction, um, you know, write down their name or be ready because I'd love for you to send, me, send a couple out during our class today. Um, any past clients that, of course, we don't want to be just surprised. Here's a review form. But any that if you've just sparked up conversation might be a good time. Any recent vendors and uh, any that have come through organically recently. All right, and then um, key part of it uh, are those leading questions. So we want to give them something to say, right? Prompt them on um, how to how to write about uh, their experience with you. And so we will get started. So this is going to be on your cell phone, right? So the delivery method. Um, you will just head over to this website on your phone. I'm sorry, I could have kept it shorter. I'll do better. This was a quick domain that I purchased, but layctxwest.com forward slash reviews class. Lacey, could you say that again? Because we're not seeing it online. Did I go too fast? Yeah. Review class. Reviews class. It's too much. It was too much. Yeah. But for me, as a, as a male female, mm -hmm. different way that they, did, I yeah. would have followed it all with yeah. Right. Because we're. And it's like, no, I'm done. He's like, make it simple or just don't even ask me. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yep. Almost exactly what he said is that I don't have time for all this. Yeah. 
Absolutely. And that, yeah, those can be so frustrating or it's, you know, you click and then it goes to the next page and there's more and you're like, I thought I'd be done by now. Mm -hmm. I got other stuff I could be doing. Um, and yeah, he loved the product, but done. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't want to do that to people. Hey, Lacey, yeah. sorry, is your screen sharing? Uh, we'll double check. Oh, uh, maybe not. Do we need that? Um, and I'll drop this in the chat. All right, sorry about that. And we do have that. Um, website on there for you. All right, and you're going to want to visit that from your cell phone. Um, and I will go ahead and share my phone screen. All right. So um, on that website that we've visited, um, there's really just one piece to it. And it's gonna be that click here to download link, um, which will pop up our uh, Google doc for you to view. So we're gonna toggle between a couple of, a couple of screens here uh, throughout this class. Um, also, you will need your Google reviews link. And so um, from your computer, you can log into your Google dashboard and grab your reviews link. And I'll walk you through that um, because you're gonna wanna email that over to yourself, get it to your cell phone. This is the one part of the class that's uh, it's a couple of steps, but once we have this, it's gonna be repeat, repeat, repeat. I'm sorry, where are you running um, I was just showing my cell phone, but I'll show you on your desktop how to get your um, Google reviews link. You're logged into your, um, the Google account that you created your business profile in. You'll see your image up in the top right, and we'll click on that Google waffle to get to your business profile. Bless you. So we have our own individual and we have a team one. Is there going to be a way, like, if we do, should we do them on our individual if it's an individual thing and then team if it's a team, or does that hurt us because it's not as many? Um, it would depend on, I guess, we would need to look at like your number of transactions per year, what your business looks like. I would recommend building up both, but not spreading it too thin. So maybe first focus would be individuals and then starting to share the love over to the team page, depending on how your marketing is set up. Like, um, but if you're each individually marketing yourselves pretty heavily, I would build those up first and then spread the love over to your team. Can you turn that off? Yes. I'll just show you that. Okay. All right. So if you are on your Google, um, you know, on Google, you'll see right next to your profile here, um, the Google the waffle to get to your Google apps. We'll click on your business profile and um, grab on your dashboard um, in that home tab. So right where you land, you're gonna scroll down just a little bit to the guy in the blue shirt. We see him and this only will work if you're verified. So if you're not, unfortunately you won't have the reviews link. You can still create the system as we go along but later you'll need to add your reviews link to it. Uh, so we'll grab that where it says share review form. You're gonna to wanna to copy that link. And if you need to email it to yourself, however you need to, to get it to your cell phone, okay? Yeah, so if you're on uh, Google, logged into your Google, um, and on the top right, you'll see your, either your face or your initials, make sure that's the right Google account. Right next to that is the little waffle, those nine dots. If you click on it, you'll see the little blue marketplace for business profile. Okay, and then it's on the home tab. So right where it lands you, 
Um, it will be, scroll down just a little bit on the right. It's gonna be this little guy in the blue shirt. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna- You want us to email it to the um, However, you can get it over to your cell phone. So if you have your email on your cell phone and you email it to yourself, and then that way you can grab that. So we'll click, just grab that link there, um, copy it, and then paste and email it to yourself. So long as we get it to our cell phone. Like we've got that here. So I will share mine. Are we going? Yeah. <laughs> Top one, turn your brain on. <laughs> All right. So now on our phone, we have that. Click here to download. So we, in our Safari, we have that uh, Google Doc pulled up. Um, that was from my website. Click here to download. We've opened that. And you have your reviews link in your phone that you can grab easily, right? Mm -hmm. um, the only other thing we'll be using in this will be the Notes app. And so if you're on an iPhone, the Notes, uh, you can search for it. And uh, as you scroll over to the left and the top, you can search for notes to find your app there. It's gonna be that little uh, notepad. If you're on a Droid, there's also a notes there. If you have Google Keep. However, I always say it's like what you would make your grocery list on. I keep mine on my notes app. <laughs> um, but I do wanna give you, just so you can understand what the end goal is, because that helps me when I'm creating something. Um, so this is how the system is going to look once we're done today. Um, this is my notes app. I've created four folders here. Each one is for those people categories. So this is people that I'm working with day to day. As I'm doing business with someone, it will be easy for me to go here, grab a script, copy that script and text it to them. So I don't have to think through it every time, right? And so it'll be so easy for you, efficient moving forward that you won't have to think about it. Um, and so within this folder, so I've got my during transaction folder those different key um, times that we might, you know, that we'll be in with the client. If I'm reaching closing, I would just come in here to closing, grab that script, everything from congratulations down to my reviews link. I would copy that, head on over to my text message and send it to myself. And this is what the client would see. It's gonna come through with that script there and then it's going to have your cover, your cover, your cover photo, which would be your headshot that we set in place, will appear there on that link that shows up. They'll be able to click right there and answer the one question that I just asked in the text message, leaving five stars and typing out. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to hit post. I get, you know, get locked out of Google. And uh, so, yes, I don't want to do that. Uh, but that's the end goal. Okay, so just to kind of help you see like what the system does would be these key pieces. So creating those scripts, having them right there to be able to text. Uh, and so we will be toggling kind of back and forth between our Safari and our notes just to copy these from that Google Doc and get them over to our notes. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these that I all my time creating because we'll be able to create these in 30 minutes. All right. So um, in my notes, we're going to start by in the bottom left corner down here is how we create a folder. So we'll go ahead and create a new folder. And this first one's going to be called reviews during transaction. Oops. 
we'll go ahead and open up that folder. Um, so we'll click on it. And then in the bottom right down here will be how we create a new note. So we'll click there to create a new note. And this will be our first script that we put in for that during transaction. So I'm going to toggle up to keep this um, window open and over to my uh, scripts here. And so on that Google Doc, um, those first three orange sections are really just helping you in the future if you need to navigate to get to you know, your views link or anything like that. But if we get down to where it has those review leading scripts, we can start there. So you'll see the category for during transaction and we're gonna copy everything from seller. So the beginning of seller contract down to the question mark. And we'll grab that, we're gonna click copy and we'll toggle back over to our notes app and just paste it there. I like a space after my heading because most of you like that. So I'm gonna add that in there. And then we just need to grab that reviews link once from wherever, um, how you sent it to yourself. So if it's in your email, um, go ahead and grab that reviews link. And um, copy it. We are going to, once we have that link copied, we'll paste it at the bottom here. So yours should look like this, would have that script space and then your reviews link at the bottom. Were you not able to get it on there? Um, no. Okay, are you on, an, on a Droid? Yeah. Do you have a notes app Probably. on there? Probably. Okay. You might just um, on the I'm doing just to okay. Begin okay. You might just take your reviews link on that script that I sent you and paste it as we go along. I've already done reviews on the doc, so okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. So maybe just yeah. This will be creating just the script, so we don't have to think about it. Okay. Well, I just put give me a pretty review. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. He's like, or else, like threats at the end. Yeah. Perfect. So we have our first one written then. This would be our seller contract um, during the transaction. So we'll go ahead and head back. And you'll see that it's created there. So in the bottom right, we'll go ahead and create our second script. And guys, I'm sorry, this is going to be repetitive. Um, so you're going to hear me repeat the same thing quite a bit today. Uh, but I want to be sure it's clear. Um, so then our second one on this review scripts is going to be that buyer contract. So we'll copy everything from buyer down to the question mark. We'll click copy. I'm going to toggle back to notes and paste it in that new note. And now we have that link on the previous notes. So I'm just going to grab it from there. Copy. And put it in at the end. So the purpose of that link is to send it back to your area where you have it or to the business. Uh, it, so the reason we want to have it at the end of each script is so that in the future, you can just grab this. So it would be everything from congratulations down to the end of that link. Um, so if I were to copy this and, and I'm working with a client who just, you know, is a buyer that just went under contract, I would copy everything from there down, go to my text messages. And when I send it, it's going to send them that full, that full, um, section there. If I don't have that link there, then I'd have to find it every time. And okay. back. So I want to have it in each script just to make it as, mm -hmm. you know, one step moving forward as possible um, to have it pop up there. And it takes them directly to the reviews mm -hmm. link, not just to your business profile. And so we have two created. So we'll go ahead and on um, back on that We'll create a new note here in the bottom right. We'll toggle over 
to our Safari and grab our third one, which would be inspection. We'll grab everything from inspection to the question mark, select copy, back to notes and paste. We'll grab that reviews link from our, net, our last note. We'll copy. And at the bottom, we'll paste it. We've got those three created. We'll head and hit the back button. We've got one more for the during transaction category. So in the bottom right, we'll click to add a new note, toggle over and grab our closing script. So starting with closing down to the question mark. So we'll click copy, toggle back and paste. So we want to grab that reviews link from our last note, copy, and paste it at the bottom. Does that make sense? Do we have some scripts created? So we've got all of our during transaction ones now in place. Um, of course, these are scripts that created for you. Some of them may not sound like you, right? So you'll want to read through them, make sure, you know, the questions that are proposed here make sense for you. Edit it on your script. So edit it on the notes app in your phone so that moving forward, you don't have to think about it. Um, and then you'll want to send these out. But if you are in the process or if you're working with a client now and any of them are in one of these categories, now's a good time, right? So Give you a second if there's a client that you could send a review request to go ahead and grab the script um read it over if it's close makes sense go ahead and copy it and send it by text uh, i love i love it when i have reviews coming in by the end of a class so um, now's a good time to do that but we do have all four there with our during transaction category so we'll head and hit the back button um, in the top left to create our second uh, people category. So remember bottom left is going to be the new folder. So we'll go ahead and create a new folder. And this one is going to be reviews for past transactions. All right, so reviews, past transactions, and we'll click save. Create that new folder. Oh. We'll open up that folder and in the bottom right, we'll create a new note. <laughs> and we'll toggle over to our scripts and grab our first one. Um, this one that we have created, it's a Zillow review. So this could be any third party website. So you may have had a client who left you a really great review on a website that doesn't uh, benefit your business as much as having that review on Google might. And so asking that client, hey, you said this. Um, so going through those reviews that are on another third party site, looking through those clients, copying what they said and sending it to them with this review. So this one's a little, it's that extra step, but this would be just one of those days where you're sitting there going through trying to move them over, right? Um, and so we wanna give them what they said so that they can easily copy it from their phone and paste it and hit submit, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, we would copy this reviews uh, script, everything from Zillow down to thank you and paste it in our new note. I'm going to go back to my other folder and grab my reviews link. Copy. And 
paste that at the bottom of the Zillow reviews. Okay. Huh? Is there any reason not to just do put that link at the bottom of each thing? Does that link ever change? The link won't change. Okay. No. So you could go through that document and it paste it in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then get that sent off that way. Okay. And then I guess question for everybody. So we want reviews on like <coughs> Facebook to like our business Facebook page has no reviews. Uh -huh. Is it too much? Do you think that say, and if you want to check out our business page, and like, is that asking too much of somebody? I think so. Uh, we uh, typically recommend giving them one. You're really being in control of where you want that to go for okay. your business. Um, if it's someone that you know that, you know, conversation is a little bit different. I would say, yeah, ask them to take that extra step. Okay. Um, but it might be sprinkling love. I felt called just sprinkling love to the other platforms as it makes sense for you. So you okay. might have, you might do, okay, I'm going to do three to one. I'll do three Google reviews to one Facebook review. Okay. Um, and I'm going to ask the three clients, you know, who will do this. I know, you know, more easily to just post to Google. And then, um, you know, someone who you know is active on Facebook, it might just make more sense to direct them there. Um, well, thanks. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Because it's just, we want them to do something. I know. And if we give them choices, they tend to not. I feel like it keeps asking and keeps asking. Yeah. Then it's easy to say no to. Yeah. Yeah. So they're like, I already did something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So what you're saying is in the long run, you're getting better off having Google reviews than you are to have Facebook reviews. Is that correct? I think they're both important. Um, but I do, I do feel pretty strongly that Google reviews are going to have, they do have more power and more credibility than your Facebook reviews. Um, Does it also depend on where you're primarily marketing through? Like some degree, most of us are marketing through Facebook, yeah. right? Like that's where your sphere is, but we also want to capture clients that are outside of that. Mm -hmm. um, and when it comes to, Facebook. you know what? Everybody uses Google, not everybody uses Facebook. Right? right, right. And when it comes down the line to, you know, if you go into like Google, ads or Google local ads for people who are coming from the state or, you know, looking for different neighborhoods in your area. The reviews actually are part of the, the formula as to where you, you populate. Um, and so having those built up in advance is, can bring you business through that yeah. uh, more than others. I think they're both important. I mean, we don't want to skip one. Obviously, if it's somewhere that our clients are, we want to be you know, looking 100% in front mm -hmm. of them. And so looking at that balance and just kind of spring. That's a good question to have. We've got the situation where I mean, you're on Facebook often, you know, depending on, depending on how often you, you know how often you're on Facebook. You mm -hmm. know how often that you're putting your, your business out there on your business page or on your personal page. I mean, it's saying anything, any type of marketing you're putting out there, kids, holidays, whatever it is, you're marketing to your database on Facebook. What you're not doing when you don't, what this is doing, for example, is touching the people that you don't have on Facebook that aren't best friends with you, that aren't following your, your posts, that aren't coming up on their uh, their Facebook page on a daily basis and seeing what you're up to. And so it's it's kind of it is that sprinkle low in different places. Once you get this set up and get this into a routine, it will continue to hit that, that Google side of it. And your Facebook is still going to be your everyday. You're jumping in and seeing your database, your sphere, what that is. And so that way you are hitting both platforms at the same time. And because you're probably not going to be just posting Every few days, necessarily every few on Facebook, you might if you're really good at it. You can do both. You have it on there, but mm -hmm. you definitely want to make sure that you're getting Google. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Both are important uh, for sure. It's with your business and marketing. Has anybody that's been following you steps, like, have y'all been, been getting calls at all from people or from Google? We just got started. I think okay. Most people are just yeah. getting started here. I will tell you, somebody in front that has already had a deal come up from it has already got a listing and a buyer. It's Aaron. I, I mean, I have two. Yeah. It's good. Awesome. I mean, I've gotten started about the exact same time. I mean, I got started. Yeah. But um, yeah. So, but I mean, like, but I mean, like, yeah. this is, this is like a lot more granular than that. How long has your like business been active? You do my business for a month. I mean, and it, yeah. and, and, and it lets you know too, somebody is calling you from, from Google. So you have on you your, jump on the phone, it says, 
somebody is calling you and it's like it's like a collect call connecting you. Mm -hmm. So you so know that that's where it's from. That's if you have your your call history. If you have it enabled on your Google business profile, it will tell you as they're calling that it's a call coming from Google. Okay. So that, that yeah, it's our, it routes them through a Google number. Okay, because we have a Google number for our, we use a Google number mm -hmm. for us. And so but I did just notice that they're starting to say their name before I like in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to accept this call? Be in my house too. Yeah. Yeah. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. yeah. For a small thing. Okay, so someone called me the other day and I was on the phone with a lender and I couldn't answer. Uh -huh. It's like a friend's sister. And then I got another call and I'm like, yeah. but it wasn't, it was from like a different thing. I was like, well, let me call you right back. And someone's calling me like consecutively. Okay. Yeah. So I answered and it was that thing. It was like, Robin. <laughs> I was like, uh, oh, she just called. So uh, I was like, um, I answered and she's like, hey, sorry, I don't know. Like something went weird when I called your phone, so I looked up your and number. Jennifer. So then I guess maybe she called through through Google. Because I was like, what is this? Yeah, if like, you have your no, call history just... on, you'll get the message, and it tracks those. It'll track it in your profile as to uh, who uh, you know okay. calls you through the Google uh, awesome. business listing. And, it, and I feel like it tends to be following people. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if they're, they're searching calling, they're, through, yeah, if they're searching and they're calling you, then yeah. it's it's good. Yeah. Well, like how many do you like areas did you pan? A, a few. How many areas did you feel pan or whatever the name is? Do we use Zipro? Yeah, I went all over. <laughs> He's got all twenty. I mean, I mean, I went, I went, I went all over DFW because I do work all over DFW. Yeah. I mean, eventually it'll get a lot more under the scope, but I mean. If 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 I've got clients in Frisco and I've got clients in Joshua, I mean I'm in the market to those places too. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely good. I love that. I love yeah. I love success stories and and hearing actually you know real business coming through. That's that's what it's all about. You know all of this. It is good use of your time. So that's what I want to like. It really does make a difference. Um, yeah, and your reviews, you know, if you're competing with another realtor, if you're competing with, if your name might be competing with someone else, even um, having more reviews, having good reviews, is again, like that's how ranking can improve is just simply that, uh, showing that you're the better business. Than, uh, okay, so we will keep going um, in our, uh -huh. in the text. When I'm texting it, is it going to show the link or does that happen when it actually comes? It's going to show um, if they're, it's going to show like this. Well, like it's not blue on my phone right now. Should I delete it and go back and redo it? I haven't sit, hit send yet. Right. So if I were to take mine, let me just look and copy everything from that down to here. It won't be blue and it won't show as a link until it's Done. sent. So mine will be like okay, that cool. as well. Um, but once you hit send, it's going to populate that. All right, I just did it. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, it also the droid or the. Send it to Android. <laughs> <laughs> just the right then it'll just show as a little, it's not going to show the full ugly link. It'll just show a little. Oh, it took, yeah, I mean, I just made the switch. It took me like a month to get mine. Yeah. They tell me genuine. Oh, wait, I'll be dead. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll keep going. We'll get more of these built out. Of course, now you've got the process down, so you can create more moving forward. But just to get as much as we can created now, so you don't have to take additional time to do that. Um, so in our reviews, past transactions, we have our Rosilla reviews. Um, any third party site reviews. We'll go ahead and create our second note there. And this one's going to be for a past buyer. So we'll select everything from past buyer down to the question mark. We'll click copy and toggle over and paste that in our note. Then we'll grab that reviews link from our previous note, copy it, 
and then go back and paste it at the end of that past buyer script. Okay. We'll select back. We'll create our third note here and it's gonna be past, or we'll open a new one, toggle over to our script and grab everything from past seller down to the question mark. We'll click copy. Talk. A stupid question. When you, when you highlight that, you, you have copy and all that come up. Ah. Are you doing anything? Because mine doesn't. No, if I select from here and drag that blue bar. Okay, yeah, I don't get the copy and all that come up. This Are you on an iPhone? It highlights it. Yeah. And then when you let go, it doesn't show you copy? You could. Um, oh, oh. Hmm. You hold down two fingers on it after it's highlighted. Does anything happen? <laughs> I'm wondering. It should pop up automatically for copy. Or just tap on it once after. Just tap on it once after it's highlighted. I did. Well, it works. Some, yeah. Oh, okay. You say it works. <laughs> just tap once. I'll say it every time. <laughs> But otherwise, it, it you know, huh. Oh, if you tap, like, if you click, like, you're gonna, if you click outside of it, it's gonna let go of it. But if you highlight and then tap over the blue, it should. Yeah, I'm just going to let you say. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like, I got another question. Uh -huh. I sent, you know, everything to myself. Mm -hmm. I got the text, but the link came out to just a, a white box. It says G dot so a little gray box. G dot page. No, that's what mine did. It's not review resolved. us on Google. It didn't have like my pretty picture and all that yeah. stuff. When you sent it to yourself? No, I sent Oh, it. if it's in a group chat, I believe it'll appear that way. So you might send it individually to yourself. Yeah, I sent it to myself. It was G dot page and just a white square. Can you grab the full? Yeah, but it came across as a text. Oh, and yours is uh, not in iMessage. No. That looks like it's green. Yeah, so in iMessage it will, but if it's, um, yeah, in a SMS format, it will just appear as a link. Oh. Not a full ugly link, but in a um, the little gray box. So you don't text it? You text it, but yours isn't, um, for some reason it's green. Is what I just saw, mm -hmm. not blue. It's because you've got the, the background uh, black. So it's kind of no, 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 no. no. So whenever, whenever just you're, blue. for example, my text. But is it because of the group chat? No, That's because I would, I would imagine it's because of the group chat. In blue, it's oh. iMessage. You know, it's going to show up like that. But it's a green text. Is it bad? Is it, like, does that it's not bad. Is, it just, okay. No. It's not a bad thing. They'll still click on the link. It's still going to give them the same outcome. It's just not going to be, it's not going to show the full picture. Uh, All right. <laughs> and it would say, same thing would work. Like if you're communicating with them, even like Facebook Messenger, sometimes we're, we see someone's online, we see that little blue dot, we're talking to them, communicating. Hey, I forgot to send you a reviews link. It'll show up with the image and everything on there. Because so, it's in Messenger, it's going to be. Well, let me ask so that, uh, on those double pages, mm -hmm. we have reason to touch that picture. It just just means it on the Is that going to yeah. take it from Zillow? Yep. You're asking them to also review you on Google. But we're making it so easy for them to just paste it. Nobody's the idea. So if they did a Google review of me at Zillow, mm -hmm. then you just ask them to review them. Yeah. Like you said this, and it's wonderful. I'm trying to build this up for my business and it, it would be so great for everyone on Google to see it. Could you just, paste, would you mind pasting it here? And then I'll, I'll do that. Okay, so let's just kind of grab some photos on it. Right, and you would want to start conversation with them first, check in with them, you know, uh, not just surprise them with the review right. link, but uh, yeah, just be like, hey, I was looking actually through my Zillow and mm -hmm. remembered our uh, conversation. It wants to talk no more. It's hard, baby. Yeah, yeah, crazy basil. <laughs>
But we'll get, so we're in our reviews past transactions. So we have our past seller. We'll go ahead and grab that reviews link from our last one, copy that and head over and paste it at the bottom there. Right. And so those would be the three um, individuals in that past seller category or past transaction. And then we'll create our next one, our next folder. So we'll go back in our notes app to create a new folder in the bottom left. And we'll call this one reviews vendors. Okay, we'll click save. We'll toggle over and grab that first vendor um, script, everything from vendor down to the question mark. We'll click copy, toggle back, and create our first note in that folder and paste it there. And then we'll grab that reviews link from the previous note. We'll copy. Go back to our review vendors folder and paste it at the bottom there. We'll click back, create a new note. We'll grab the next one. So this one, um, you know, working with another realtor during a transaction, mm -hmm. you can also ask for a raise from them. You can leave a review for another realtor. Shows, you know, oh, good business. Awesome. Yeah. I think that's great. Yeah, they're doing, if they do a great job, it's good to help them and praise their business and ask them to praise yours. Like you had a good. Right. Not for. Definitely, this was one you want to evaluate the situation. Negatively, if somebody's going to be like, that's the right issue so there's yeah. some that I just won't be able to read before. Right. Yeah. If it was truly good and genuine and you know that it was mm -hmm. both of you yeah. worked hard, yes, then you know. Case by case. Like you know how with the picture with loading too many pictures at a time and it flags it. Is there does that happen with reviews yeah. too? And so that's what I was gonna at the end Sorry. here mention too um everything with Google is you know uh, we want to do it over time. So it's not let's go ask for a dozen reviews today. What you'll see if you do that is that only a couple might come back, even if they all left you a review, you might only get two posted, you might not have any that show up on your Google, and we don't wanna to have to ask people to do it again. Um, Google's very sensitive to spam, and so if it appears to be, or they think you might just be blasting it out to your family, they're not gonna post it. Um, I would recommend no more than five a day review requests in this, you know, format. Um, and that's even pretty, you know, pretty aggressive, but I would say no more than five. So, I mean, so like, for instance, like I sent out like a dozen the other day uh -huh. and I got two. So, I mean. It could have been that more than two went through with it and you only received two. Um, or it could have been that only two followed the steps. Right. But if you were to ask each individual, it, you know, ask them, which I don't know that you want to do that. Well, yeah. Did you actually, I'm curious because my Google got messing up. Mm -hmm. Like, What's did it? you or didn't you? <laughs> so, uh, and, I, and, you know, and, I, and I feel like at 12, like I got responses back from like seven. Mm -hmm. And then I got, again, like, to reviews. Yeah. So uh, I just wasn't sure if people were like, oh, yeah, no, I'll do it. And then got busy. Yeah. Could or be. If, I mean, if you're saying, like, so, like, I mean, what do you think the cutoff is of 
you know, like like if I get five reviews in a day, say, hey, I just sent out the gift cards to the people that finished the video. So they eventually tell us that they didn't come at all. They just, it is mean. Yeah, oftentimes they just won't come through. Sometimes there are delays. It can take up to a week to get a review to come through. Um, earlier this year, reviews weren't coming through at all. Um, with COVID, half the Google team had to, like, weren't on board. They actually shut down the rooms. So they weren't coming. Um, now that's not the case, but we have seen delays. It can be up to a week for a review to come through. Um, it also does check for, you know, foul language. It checks for bad mm -hmm. grammar. Yeah, it checks to make sure that it's, you know, in the Google reviews, you know, policy that they're following the correct you know, language. And so there's certain things that can get it just to not populate. That's why asking for them consistently This is probably a stupid question. Um, Sorry, y'all, she's coming back in just a minute. I can find the lightweight. I can't find them on my phone. Mm -hmm. The Facebook? Yeah. Because, like, there's home services review shop and there's home services shop. I mean, I can go about it a long way, but I didn't think that it might be. And maybe it's because I'm manage this page, maybe someone else could see it if they were, maybe if I. Not. Yeah, man. Yes. And then I'll. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. So yeah. would you need to grab the piece of Yeah, one of them is already closed. Nice. Yay. I want to that I try with my wedding business that I do with reviews. Like if I send something out and ask for a review and they immediately say, Oh great, I'll do that. And then they don't ever do it. Just don't yeah. respond to that. And don't right away say thanks, wait like 10 days or so, and then respond to that and say, Oh, thank you so much. I'll be looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. yeah, so that would like remind them a second time that they said they would. Yeah. Okay. And another thing that's yeah. yeah. about the organic ones, like when people say something, because I get so many drunk people at the end of the day who are like, you know, I'm so glad we couldn't have done this about you. I'm going to write the best review for you, you know, and I'm going to write the Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Putting that in the right way. You say yeah. this when you want to get the end of your question. Yeah. yeah. Literally, that's what the script says. Yeah. It says, can I quote you? Can I quote you? Yeah. Can I quote you? You said this. It was yeah. really great. Yeah, your drunken words. Were, awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's the system. So I mean, it's just that there's a couple left, and I know we're out of time, so I don't want to run over. But everyone can finish. No, you're good. They Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna switch to. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Yeah, it's going to allow me now. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm taking a rush. I'm going to go back. 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 I'm going to go
Mm -hmm. Recordings like this for like movies. Mm -hmm. uh, the more I watch it, the, the more I learn. I was on the yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I know, like, I've done it a couple times. Okay, not to not to me. Go to quick link. What's the button on? It's not. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. All right. We're going to make this thing work. Okay, so we'll walk through these last couple um, just so that we have the full system in place on our phones. All right, so we have now our vendors um, uh, script here created. I'll go ahead and hit the back button to create a new note. We'll toggle over to um, our second vendor script, and that was that cross sale realtor. So that realtor who we feel good about asking a review from, um, that we would leave a review for them as well. Uh, we'll paste that here, grab our link from our vendor's note, and copy that, and paste it at the bottom. And then we'll create our last um, category. So we'll get out of that review vendors folder to our main screen here and create a new folder here in the bottom left for reviews organic. We'll click save. All right. And in that folder, we'll create a new note in the bottom right. We'll toggle over and grab our first one. This is gonna be that email compliment that comes through. This is the one case I would say, if, they, if they're communicating by email, you know, I don't think it's wrong to then, you know, they just sent it to you, send it right back and say, hey, thank you so much, that was great. Could you, would you mind just posting that here? They're already in their email, it makes sense. We don't wanna take it from the email, copy it to text. Um, so this would be the one case that I would say responding by email and sending that link would make sense. You can, of course, do that from your phone. You have it right there um, and asking them to send it. And we'll grab that link. Copy and paste it in our email compliment script. That's awesome. We'll go back and in the bottom right, we'll create a new note for our second script. And that's gonna be this organic text compliment. We'll click copy and paste that here. And we'll go back and grab our reviews link from that previous note. We'll copy and paste back. We'll select to go back and grab our final script. This is going to be that drunken wedding organic <laughs> verbal compliment that came through. So we'll grab everything from organic down to the final part of that sentence there and we'll click copy. And this is where you quote them. Like, can I quote you? You said this, it, it stuck with me, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, you said a lot of things last <laughs> night. <Yeah. laughs> um, and so we'll create a new note here and paste that script, grab that reviews link, from our previous note, click copy, go back and paste it at the bottom there. 
And now with those, we have a full system in place, right? So that's the goal. Uh, during different parts of our transaction, during different parts of our business with other people, now we're equipped, right, to just make it really easy to send those requests for review um, and send it to them in a way that works. And so I know a couple of people, and I sent out review requests while we were in here. Did anyone mm -hmm. else send out any review requests while we were? We got more. I like it. Any come in or come back yet? Uh, I have one that said that they did. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it yet. Seen it yet. Okay. Hopefully. But, you know, I mean, I've had it with yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, you got it? Yeah. Yay! I love it. Cool. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. It was the copy and paste thing. Past client. You said this. Can you just put and they probably yeah. they did, right? They just took what they said and posted it. Yeah. And you need to make sure you reply to your reviews, I think. Yes. That helps. Yes, absolutely. I, I just took the time to do that myself. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And and again, and not that we want to sound we don't want to sound artificial, but in those response reviews, again, keywords, keywords, keywords. You can always say it was so great to be your realtor and finding you that great house and you know. In Arlington or where, <laughs> yeah, but okay? maybe not the same thing. Client who's also kind of a friend, is it okay to suggest some keywords that they put in their review? You you don't want them to sound too prompted, so I, I would probably steer away from it. I've seen that. I've mm -hmm. seen. I had a realtor I worked with that put in the bottom of his review request. It helps me if you include these words, but um, I mean, if it's a friend, you know they're going to do it. But we just want it to sound natural. Um, you could say, would you be sure to include the word realtor somewhere in it? Mm -hmm. That's cool, you know? And then maybe the next one, if you have another friend, would you maybe include, we looked all over Dallas, Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to review to have some sort of specific, you know, it's yeah. all, almost borderline plagiarism from the other review right. you had. From this way yeah. You got to feel like I'm twisting your mm -hmm. arms and these yeah. types of things. Right, and we want to be sure it's moral and correct and good. We want them to leave an honest, you know, and honest review. Reviews, so yeah. <laughs> Best realtor in, Best realtor yeah, yeah. in all of the United <laughs> States, <laughs> all of the world. Yes, that would be organic, verbal. All right, you said, uh, I captured what you said below. Uh -huh. is that? So this is where you would send this. So any of the, um, so this one and the Zillow one, you would want to, Zillow one, of course, you're going to copy what they said and paste it. This one, you're going to say, after this, you said, quote, this was the best real estate transaction I've ever had. And working with Lacey was the best, yeah. exclamation point, end quote, and say, did I get that right? You would type it out and actually send it to them. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, especially if it was like if it stood out to you as a really good mm -hmm. verbal compliment, I would say do it. If if not, you could say you said some really great things last night or yesterday when after we closed that meant meant so much to me. Would you mind leaving that in a review form? Mm -hmm. If you don't know exactly what they said, obviously doing, you know, just asking them to leave a review. But uh, if you if they said something that stood out to you that you want others to know, then I would quote them. Lacey, would you use a similar process for doing <laughs> Facebook <laughs> reviews in, from the past? It was very loving. We just won't mention that in the review, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear me? Hey, Lacey. Perfect. And we had reviews come in. I love it. Yay. So good job, guys. Yeah. Just, you know, as you go along, I just encourage you to be asking, be sending these out little by little. Um, again, it is easy for reviews to get held up with Google and not posted. Um, if they feel like you're blasting it out, um, or if your reviews are coming in too prompted or scripted, that can lead to it. Um, so little by little over time, um, sending those out and getting people to, to review. Okay. Nice. Nice yeah. So that wraps it up. Yeah. Um, if anybody 
Chronicles has issued a list. Reach out to me. Let me know. Um, with setback airports as well. So I'm probably got to kind of gate. You're on camera, Seth. Guy over, yeah. open, open to and then you try to relate the people. Like, yeah. I'm late the end. Anybody want to get that personal time with you? Yeah. One on one time or that? How yeah. would they go about doing that? Yeah. So through Seth, he has my calendar. Um, it's easy. I'll give you all my card though, too. That way you have, um, if you need anything. Let me try to get over there. So you do personal consultations? Mm -hmm. We do. So we can take a look at your business, like where you're at, um, what you've been doing, and then. Yeah, just in that time. So cool. Bob, Regina, thank you for being here. No, no. Thank you. Great class.